Welcome to the Gospel of Luke, chapter 15, verses 25 to 27. We're still in the parable of the lost son, but we're kind of shifting over here. We've got something else going on with the brother. So let's look at this. Now his older son was in the field, and he came and drew near to the house. He heard music and dancing. So he called one of the servants and asked what these things meant. And he said to him, Your brother has come, and because he has received him safe and sound, your father has killed the fatted calf. Now we're going to just pause there. We're taking this in slices. So here, by the way, notice the older brother. Where is he? He's not lounging around. He's not eating chips, watching videos in the house. He's not a, a blob sitting on the couch. The, the older son is, is toiling. He's out there. He's in the field. He's working. He's working. He's working. The younger son went away and lived like a ridiculous person. But here's this guy. He's toiling away. That's where he is. He's working in the field. Now he comes near the house. And he hears the music and the dancing. Well, this is a big celebration, right? We talked about that yesterday morning. And so he calls one of the servants. What's going on? Hey, hey, you know, this wasn't the way it was when I left, you know. I've been out here working in the, you know, in the dirt. And uh, look at the response of the servant. Your brother has come, and because he has received him safe and sound, your father has killed the fatted calf. So this servant, you know, we kind of read between the lines here a little bit, but the servant doesn't sound too impressed by the son. He doesn't sound like he really even agrees necessarily with the father, but uh, notice it's uh, it's yours, right? Your your brother has come, and he's talking about the way the father responds. He's not saying, "Hey, we were all so happy when we saw him back." He's telling the older brother, "Yeah, this guy really went out and wasted everything, but yeah, we've we're now we're because we're servants, so we're doing what we're told." So yeah. It's not like even the servants necessarily on the same page with the father. Isn't it interesting? The younger son wasn't on the same page with the father. The older son here, we're going to find out, is not on the same page with the father. Servants, kind of sketchy here, maybe not on the same page as the father, but the father himself is being who he is. He's being right. Now, the older son, the response here, yeah, he's just finding out what's going on. So, uh, you know, a lot of times God is doing something, and the people who are supposedly close to him, Sometimes it turns out that, that they're not really in tune with God's plan. Are you really in tune with God's plan? Here's a question for you and I. Are we, are we in tune with God's plan? Maybe, maybe we're like this servant. And I admit, I'm, I'm inferring a little bit here, but reading between the lines, the servant does not sound exuberant. So sometimes God is doing something and we have, we're having trouble coming onto the plan. And a lot of times it comes down to God's great love. But we're unhappy because he's not being judgmental enough. He's not being hard and harsh enough. Maybe he should put the, uh, yeah, put the younger son there, put him to work at minimum wage and see how that goes. That's not God the way God does it. That's not the way. Okay, let's pray. Father in heaven, the older son is now discovering that the younger son has returned with nothing, hardly or with rags even, and uh, is being received with uh, the full regalia here. So we'll see how that goes. But Lord, help us to always be looking to you, watching for your ways, wanting to have the desires that you have, wanting to have the affection that you have, wanting to have the love for the lost, love for the people who've been crunched. A lot of times by, 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 our, own, by our own mistakes, we've crunched ourselves. Help us to have a spirit of mercy and compassion. We've been there. Can't we express that kind of concern for others? Thank you for hearing our prayer, Lord, in Jesus' name. Amen. So we'll see tomorrow morning uh, more about the response of the older brother, the older son. But let's review. Let's double check. Let's make sure you and I are on God's plan. Hey, may God's blessing be with you today.